Hi, let us understand how to access the web UI of the remote vault running in the developer mode. Since the vault will be exposing the web UI only in the local host, we will not be in a position to access the we will not be in a position to access it using its IP address. This particular video is purely optional and very soon we will be configuring it so that we can access the web UI using the IP address. Before that, I am going to quickly demonstrate how to configure the SSH tunnel in case if you wanted to access the web UI. Every SSH tool provides this tunneling option. I am going to open the tunneling option. Here I am going to add a new option where I am going to use the local port 8200. I can use any port that I wanted. In case if you are running the vault already in 8200, you can select a different port. 8400. So anything I am accessing in the local host in port 8400 will be routed through this SSH option into this particular IP address. This is the IP address of this particular machine node 5. 192.168.0.55 and it will be using this particular user ID and the port. And any request coming into this particular machine in the port 22 through this particular tunnel will be routed to the local host 8200 and the response will be provided back to the user. I'm going to start this as such tunneling. Yes. And uh, let me start the server. Windows 5 on. It's going to ask for the permission to access through the SSH tunnel. I'm going to start the server vault server in developer mode. The server is running in port 8200 and I need to export the vault address as HTTP. Now within my local system, that is the system where I'm running this SSH tool, I'm going to access the port 8400 so that the request will be routed to the node 5 machine and within that, it's going to route it to the port 8200. So I'm accessing the port 8400 and the request will be routed to this particular Linux machine. And uh, here it will be routed to the port 8200 of localhost. And I can copy the token and log into the system. I have provided the token. I'm able to log into the web UI. This is purely optional in case if you wanted to access the developer system without configuring the UI, you can go ahead and do that. Very soon we will make the configuration file change so that we can access it using the IP address.